Hello, Pisces. It's Elmo by God Tarot, and this is um, your current person's feelings about you. So whoever you're thinking about, whoever's strongly on your mind right now, we're going to do a reading and see what their current feelings are. Because you know the situation. You know what, what the where, where the vibe is, where the vibe left off. So let's see. Hmm, how, how, are they, how do they feel about you right now? Of course, we can't do that without getting an overall vibe, so... Let's have a look, see, at the astrology reading cards. And here we go. Give the video a like if you, so far. You, if, you, if, you're, if your mouth is watering right now, you're like, oh my god, I want to know. Give the video a like. Okay, here we go. Here we go. First card. The moon. Very in your head about this. Very in, very in their head. Very inner world. So that means like... Like, they, like, there's not a lot that is out there. There's not a lot that comes to the surface. Like, you're not going to see it on their profile picture, or how they're doing. You're going to see visibly, outwardly, openly, what's going on, what's really, truly going on with them. So this is your unconscious, sensitive, inner emotions and responses. The moon. Okay. And your next card is the sun. Oh. Huh. Isn't that sweet? The sun. Your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is a involved here so something about this is divine something about this is supposed to be where it is everything is as it should be even if it's not in the best the best this place and then we have mercury how you think communicate right talk and travel all right so again obviously communication is an issue so no surprise that mercury comes up the moon is associated with Cancer, the sun is associated with Leo, and Mercury is associated with Virgo and Gemini. So it could be any one of those signs that you're dealing with, but it feels like what my the impression that I get from these this combination is that this person is, uh, they're thinking more about, like, they have a lot going on on the inside, they care about what's what appears on the outside, how they're perceived, and then they care about how they think or they care about how you think of them, maybe in that right, how you communicate with them in that right, what you don't keep inside, what you put out there for them, how you feel on the inside, um, and just the way that you talk to them, the way that they talk to you. So just, again, how they make you feel on the inside, how they perceive you on the outside, and how you communicate. Kind of an issue here. Kind of an issue here. Okay, so let's see. I mean, I feel like that's pretty, it's pretty like that level. It's not like all of my personal, all of my dreams and destiny and hope have all gone to dust because of you. This is very like, how you see me does not match how I see myself. Or what I really truly think is this, but I'm not going to show you that on the outside. And the way that we communicate is just, what is just what? Well, let's have a look at the tarot and see what it, what it do. Okay, because it feels it feels sincere, right? Like if somebody cares about that at this depth, um, then it's like they have analyzed how they, you know, how they feel about you. So let's have a look. See, okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. three of cups. See, the high priestess in reverse. Judgment card in reverse. The hanged man and justice so how your current person feels about you so it feels feels a little interesting so in overall like right away i feel like we're talking about friendship we're talking about friendship we're talking about community people around you it could be a friend group it could be just some friends but this is the imagery of coming together for celebrations coming together to appreciate show gratitude celebrate good feelings, good vibes, but at the same time, this, this card is supposed to be reconciliation, coming back together, so I'm wondering if, like, because this is the cups, how they feel on the inside is they love that reconciliation, communication, um, joyful communication, and friendship. They'd like to see it come back together. They'd like to see, um, and especially, like, this is a party, so it's a communal event, so something like that, like, maybe they are hoping to see you at an event. Uh, they're hoping to see you at that ba ba uh, baptism or reunion or 
birthday party. But yeah, it shows uh, healing, reconciliation, well, reconciliation, joyful reconciliation, coming together. This person at least wants that. Okay, but then there's secrets here because we have the high priestess. High priestess knows that there's a lot more information, a lot more to consider, a lot more things. This is like when somebody just wants things to be better again, but at the end of the day, you know there is a conflict between, and if you sweep it under the rug, it will emerge some other time. So um, you or this other person might not be up for that, so that's why it's hard to tell where people are at. High Priestess in reverse, this is associated with the moon, which is interesting. So this is, again, your inner world. The High Priestess is, is harboring secrets, but I say harboring, that sounds malicious, it's not. She just knows what it what the bigger picture is, so she's not she's not trying to reveal secrets. She doesn't have that thirst to gossip. So she's like, as you wish, just watch it unfold organically. And also, she possesses a psychic power, so there's intuition here. So this person has a lot of feelings, but they also have a lot of intuition, which means they have a lot of visions, a lot of like just deeper feelings that they can't quite explain. Maybe clairvoyance. Maybe prophetic dreams. Maybe this person dreams about you. Maybe this person, what they think and what they feel, what they suspect and can't prove, all the intuitive pulses, and maybe even secrets. They, it's like they can't confirm it. They can't really, like they, like, like, they're not telling you something. They're not acknowledging something. They're not, they're leaving some information out. It feels like because this card is in reverse, it feels like it's a little like, okay, I'm, I'm not, what, like this person's like, I maybe won't tell them that I did this. I won't, maybe won't tell them that I did that. Maybe they feel guilty about something they said or did and they don't want you to know about it. And maybe that's what, hey, maybe that's what it is. All right, so then we have the judgment card. Judgment card is associated with Pluto. You know Hades. You know Hades. Life, death, transformation, deep set loyalty. The judgment card is about doing a evaluation of how everything is going and what lessons you've learned and what cycles and patterns you're repeating. This person is doing an overview. They're judging their entire relationship as a whole. Do I take away joy from this relationship? Do I take away sadness from this relationship? Do I, is this working? Is this not working? Is this, am I, what am I, what are we doing here? You shouldn't even be here. Type vibes, like, what? judgment so this, I, I get it if we should happen to come across each other i will be grateful for the reconciliation but there's a deeper unknown that goes on in this situation or this person with this person there's a lot that's unknown and it's so layered and i'm judging overall you know what i don't know everything and i feel like that says something itself you don't tell me stuff you don't communicate you expect me to just eat up these lies or whatever it is you throw me and I, I'm well aware that you're not disclosing a lot of things and it's getting really suspicious and I'm judging. You know, the whole thing's getting judged. And it might even be hypersensitive judging because the card is in reverse. Maybe they're judging too hard. You know, or maybe they're even judging themselves because again, the inner world thing is, is a thing. So then we have the hangman and the waiting and the limbo and we already know what that's about. It's like, you, that's why we're here because you've been waiting. And I feel like that hangman is very Neptunian, very, very de, like, Delulu? Delulian? Yeah. The hangman represents waiting, hanging in limbo until you change your perspective and get yourself out of there. Um, and maybe this person, is like, what they, their perspective it just hasn't changed. It's still holding still. What can you do? What can you do? And what's fair and balanced? It looks like holding still a little bit, but it's just justice really, justice next to hangman, it's just like, maybe it's fair to just hang out, stand still, just hold where you are. Maybe that's the right thing. Justice card is associated with Libra, by the way. Hangman associated with Neptune, which is associated with Pisces, which you know. Also Virgo, I'm um, Scorpio, Cancer. Got a lot of major arcanas in here. It's all major arcana except for this card, that's crazy. Big themes, big themes are going on. So, how this person feels about you i feel like they just like yeah i miss you yeah i wish we could reconnect but at the same time there's just so much that you don't know there's so much that i don't know there's there's just such a heaviness to it and i'm just judging the whole situation as like uh you know i roll or i don't know there's holding still in the hangman and there's you know a little bit of that delusion about 
why we're holding still and why your perspective can't change. That could be you, that could be them, that could be both. But I feel like that's stubbornness, to be honest. Uh, that's just not wanting to see the other person's perspective. That's not wanting to see things any differently than you know them to be. And that'll, that'll yeah, that'll do it with the stalemate, for sure. It's funny because that stalemate is something that is seeked after, sought after with the justice card. The stalemate, the equal equal balance. It's really interesting next to the hangman. Because that justice card, it's like what's fair is to just hold still and keep a, a distance or be stay in limbo, whatever limbo is for you. Hold where you are. Don't go out of your way. Justice card seems like that's what's fair. That's what's... The, the, the teetering isn't happening. The balance is there because you feel this way and you feel that way. And both are valid. So we're just holding right there. And until one person changes their perspective, ain't no movement. But both, like, I guess you or them would in, would prefer reconciliation, but there's just there's layers to this. There's levels to this. And communications out here as a problem, you're in how you truly feel. Can you express that? Maybe there's an issue there with communication. You can't really express how you feel on the inside. Um, and the communication on the outside is not, I mean, it could be an issue. It could be good, could also be an issue, right? Travel as well. Maybe it's like, hey, why am I always going to your house? Why aren't you coming here? Maybe it's, you know, long distance is just really making me more irritable. And by the time I get there and you tell me, listen, we only made it up there for two. And you're just like, you know what? I just drove 17 hours. You could have just ordered a hot dog. You could have said, hey, we're having hot dogs. You could have eaten dinner before I got here. And then been like, hey. We... Or you could have called me and said, grab something to eat because we already ate. Something. And that's not even really all that nice. Those those alternatives. You know, but the, the whole idea is that you're not, you're not in our appreciation. You're just like. Yeah, as you should visit, like as you should be driving 17 hours. Okay, not gonna do it. So the justice card, it, it's really balanced. I feel like it's like fair on both sides. So I'm wondering if like the solution of the limbo, the is, is what's most fair on both sides. It's probably is good. But again, you might not realize that because my priestess has them secrets and she has an overall view of things. So the energy might just be allowing you to just kind of keep your distance from each other and they feel how they feel but like there's no movement there's no change there's stalemate in how they're feeling so unless the elements put pull and push you guys together the distance keep 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 them at bay keep them at bay i mean hey a couple months from now you could do another reading and it might be like oh it's time to reconnect so don't 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 stress don't sweat all right so there it is. That is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And yeah, I will be doing personal reading soon. Um, just stay tuned. I got to set it up. It's just PayPal foolishness. All right. Ciao.